These aren't preparations for a diving competition. It's all in a day's work on the set of a film now being shot in Berlin. We take you behind the scenes. The film tells the story of an unusual love affair between Donato, a lifeguard from Brazil, and Conrad, a biker from Germany. Praia do Futuro is a German-Brazilian co-production. The actors are spending 35 days filming at the Baltic Sea and in Berlin. In September, the production will move on to Fortaleza, Brazil. Fortaleza is home to Karim Ainuz, the film's director. He decided to cast a German and a Brazilian actor in the two main roles. I met Clemens and we, you know, we didn't connect. No, we didn't. At the, at, at, at the first. Not, not that we hated each other or anything, but no, it was just, just two strangers. Yeah, two strangers. Both actors are known for their work in action movies. Clayman Schick played the darkly menacing bodyguard to an unscrupulous banker in the James Bond film Casino Royale. In Elite Squad, Wagner Mora played the captain of a special police unit working in the slums of Rio de Janeiro. The film was a hit across South America. Now these actors are starring in a story about an encounter between two men. Lifeguard Donato saves Conrad from drowning. They fall in love and Donato follows Conrad to Berlin. Later their love story ends in separation. The film shows the characters grappling with their roles as brothers, fathers and lovers. These layers of meaning add resonance to what would otherwise be a straightforward romance. This is a lot about being man, actually, and, and, and the, uh, I mean, it's a film about motorcycles and, and uh, uh, um, adventure and um, saving people. In a way, it's an action film, with the fact that the two uh, main characters of the film have a relationship between them. A break in the filming on set. By now, the two actors are also friends. Clayman Schick is also enjoying the opportunity to work in Berlin, where he lives. It's fantastic to be home, but still working with a Brazilian production and a German-Brazilian production. And so it's everything I love in this job is together in this film. Karim Ainuz, the director, is the driving force behind the film. He first came here on a fellowship. He fell under Berlin's spell. Its empty lots, gritty atmosphere, and a habit of reinventing itself. He decided that one day he would return to make a film here. I think it's very important that the city is present in the film as a, as a main character. There's this feeling of daily life in Berlin, which I think it's very particularly, I mean, particular. it's this mix of uh, being in a big town, but at the same time, you kind of feel like you're in the countryside sometimes, you know, like here. So I think there is that in the film a lot, and there's also the sense of a place full of openness. The two actors are now in Berlin, the city with a charm all its own. They spent two months preparing for the filming developing their scenes, improvising, and growing familiar with their roles. For the character of Donato, coming to Berlin also proves a transformative experience. It's great to discover the city together with my character. My character is a guy who comes from Brazil <clears throat> to this new world and this is actually the first time that I really live here. I'm here for kind of a lot, almost three months. So I'm discovering Berlin with Donato, the both of us. We all opened up and overcame our self-consciousness. Often people are too shy to express what they're thinking and feeling because they think it's just a dumb idea. We went ahead and said it anyhow. And many of our dumb ideas turned out to be good ones. Soon the actors and crew will move on to Brazil to finish filming. Then it will be Clayman and Schick's turn to explore unfamiliar terrain. 
when the film is released next year, we'll get to see how this intercultural relationship developed between Berlin and Fortaleza.